Hi friends, happy Thursday, welcome back to my channel, it's the Sally Hearts Jack 80 Show. Hi guys, I hope your Thursday is going fabulous. It's Thursday, so you know what that means. Yes, it is time for another Throwback Thursday doll review. This is where we get in our time machines, we head back in time, and I share with you some of my favorite Barbie dolls from the past. And today, you're looking at some of my vintage girls, which we're going way, way back, guys, for today's um, Throwback Thursday doll share. I should call it a doll share more than a review. And um, as you know, uh, this past weekend I did some thrifting and some antique shopping. And I found this really, really cool shop of uh, uh, this woman. I wish I could remember her name. I can't remember, but she's wonderful. Next time I go, I will get it and I will give her the props she deserves. Um, she has this cute little shop that sells a whole bunch of different antique things. And it also she also sells dolls in there. Which is awesome, because she's got dolls from, like, when my mom was a little girl. And, you know, sometimes those dolls are just super cute. So while I was rummaging around in there, you might notice my vintage Barbies are here hanging out. Hey, girls! We got Becky, Stacy, and Barbie, of course. And so what I'm super excited about is I found... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Look at this, you guys. Do you see that cuteness? Look at this cuteness. Okay, so the outfit is modern. It does come from my 1992 Party and Play Skipper. I mean, Stacy doll. But this is a 1968 Twist and Turn Skipper. And she's beautiful. Of course, I had to clean her up. I meant to show her clean up on my video because I wanted to do another Dolly Advice video. And I am going to do another one and it is going to be on cleaning up dolls you find at the thrift store, making them shine like beauties again. This girl, I seen her on the shelf. She was naked, had no clothing. Her hair was totally, totally yucky. Sorry, Skipper, I'm going to have to talk about you a little intimately, young one. <laughs> and she is a twist and turn, so she did have eyelashes. Her eyelashes are missing, but I don't mind because I am going to put some on her. Thanks to, um, Big Kid John, is it? Check out his YouTube channel. He does this really great tutorial on how to put eyelashes on your dolls. And so I'm going to do that with her. And her body was all greasy. She had a ton of caked on dirt. She is from 1968. She was shown a lot of love by her um, past owner, who I'm sure had a lot of fun with her. But I checked her out. Her arms were good. Everything's perfect. Her twist and turn function is amazing. Her face is really, really great for being so old and caked up with a lot of dirt. So all that I did was bring her home. I... I got her because she was really, really cheap, and I love to, uh, I love to get old Barbies that are before my time, even if they're kind of roughed up, because you can always clean them up and make them super, super pretty. The only thing that I do check for is I make sure that they have no bites out of their feet, or they're not missing any of their hands or their nose. Sometimes, uh, old vintage Barbies have their noses missing, which is really, really creepy. But, um... She was a doll. All I used was some Dawn, you know, what you use to wash your dishes with. It has degreaser in it, and so it took all the yucky film off of her. I wish I would have showed it to you guys, but I am going to be cleaning up some more vintage Barbie and Friends on my channel, and I will include that as, you know, some dolly advice, another dolly advice video on how to restore your doll to make her look cute. And I gotta say, I think I did a pretty terrific job, but I do wish you could have seen how dirty she was. She was absolutely filthy. But she is beautiful. Her legs still click. Look at that. They hold a pose. She is adorable. Her hair is really, really cute. I got it as clean as I possibly could. It looks like she had a slight trim, but not by much because Skipper's hair really wasn't long, so I don't know if that is the correct length it, length it was. And her bangs are a little rough because they started to go in with the rest of her hair, but I think I got them out pretty well. And she is really, really cute. So that is my Throwback Thursday for this Thursday, you guys. It is my 1968 Twist and Turn Skipper doll that I found at an antique store. So guys, if you are, you know, 
not sure about thrift stores and antique stores, please check them out. Even if you find a doll that's been a little used, a little roughed up, you can get her back into shape, looking super sparkly. Just check out your local thrift shops. If you're ever, like, in, uh, you're going antiquing, go to antique stores, go to doll st show shows. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I'm stuttering. <laughs> Doll shows are another good thing. I hope one comes around my neck of the woods because I plan on going. I haven't been to a doll show in like four years. I know that's crazy, but I need to get out there. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed her if you're into Vintage Barbie. And don't forget to subscribe to join me next Thursday for another Throwback Thursday doll review. I think I have something pretty special for next week that I hope you guys will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to have a wonderful, fabulous, awesome Thursday. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself, be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous vintage dolls will always be beautiful world. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Have a magical day. What am I saying? Have a magical and wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.